Hey guys, today you're gonna to learn how to build an entire marketing team using AI only and edit and all right? So we have here CMO agent, we have here AI research agent, and then this AI research agent delegates all the tasks either to Instagram expert or to LinkedIn expert, meaning that you will have a ready to go post for your Instagram and a ready to go post for your LinkedIn with all the research data and with all the findings from AI agents. And also we're using something called Tavily. And Tavily essentially is a web scraper. So we're not only using the data provided by AI, but we're actually validating the data using AI research agent, which has a real-time access to a web and the latest trends using web scrapers, all right? And guys, there you go. This is your entire a marketing team for 100% free. All right, guys, I've been marketing for six years. So I build this essentially for all of my people out there who want to uh, scale their marketing operations or maybe who are not really, uh, you know, in a place where they can hire marketing specials or experts. So now all we need really is edit and basics foundations on how to use it. And this workflow right here, which you can download for 100% free. So link will be available below the video in the description box. So definitely go ahead and download the JSON template. And let's now dive into it. And let me explain you how it works in more detail. And just in case, if you want to maybe modify or change it based on your niche or maybe some um, options or stuff like that. Uh, so if you want to modify it, then stick around so you can learn how to actually work with this flow right here. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so this flow is pretty, it's fairly big. I wouldn't say it's massive. There's some workflows that are like, just like across the screen left and right. Um, this is pretty compact, I would say. Um, the cool part is that essentially everything here is handled by AI, all right? So we're not using something called subflows. We are not, you know, um, using AI agents to call AI agents in different subflows. Um, there are some pros and cons, but again, I wanted to make it super beginner friendly. And, and I wanted to make sure that we're using purely AI within a single flow. So the way it works, here we have a very basic uh, chat message input or chat trigger. So here you will be essentially asking AI, what do you want to do in terms of your marketing goals? Okay. Do you want to like search for like latest trends in marketing and create posts across social media accounts? And essentially whatever you, whatever you want to do for your marketing, you will be entering into this chat input right here. And then once that is done, the data will be passed to the a CMO a agent or chief marketing officer. All right. And each of these agents has its own character or behavior, how they should act and behave. Again, I'm somebody who's coming from marketing uh, background. I've been marketing for almost six years. So I made sure to tailor each of the AI agents to sort of uh, replicate 99% uh, with 99% with accuracy uh, in terms of what these positions would represent in an actual company, right? So we have here CMO agent. If I open it up, all right, and let me just expand this one. So here we're defining um, the behavior or the character of the agent, right? So you are an experienced chief marketing officer and then we're just basically explaining what it does, what the functions are and how to delegate the tasks across the agents, right? So the task for this agent is essentially to act as a brain of the entire company as a chief marketing officer, because that's what it does. Chief marketing officer essentially within the company, within the real company is acting as the brain and strategy sort of, you know, strategies across the entire marketing team. And then he or she delegates the task across the team, right? So here we're saying you have a team. Okay. So we are explaining that you have a team that you can work with and delegate tasks to a research agent, a Instagram expert and a LinkedIn expert. Okay. So they're going to be creating and developing the uh, social media posts. Essentially they are uh, looking something like this. So the final output will be looking, uh, similar to this well it's going to be looking like this uh on the spreadsheet again nothing fancy but again we're not focusing on uh formatting uh, spreadsheets here it's really just about the data and the final result so here we have a example of a linkedin post okay and we're kind of uh, um adapting the best practices and formatting for how you would see post on linkedin for example right and even you have the hashtags and you have the engagement strategy target cto's cdo's uh target audience so you have everything ready to go without actually hiring anybody, uh, a real person in marketing. It's pretty crazy. So let me go back to NNA. Cool. So um, then we are, okay, this is actually pretty cool because this is something that only if you've been in marketing for a couple of years, you will understand. 
Uh, so, and you don't need to learn it because I've already applied all these practices already for these AI agents in here for you guys. Uh, so, um, responsibilities, okay, strategic planning, task, uh, delegation, quality, control, uh, coordination, okay, this is decision framework. Um, this is very, it's very standard decision framework within the marketing, um, creating content creation requests, delegate specific platforms, experts, okay, for market research needs. Uh, sends to a research agent first, all right? And then we have a output format. Nothing crazy here. We're essentially explaining to AI how to log properly um, data on the spreadsheet because there are some rows and columns that are reserved for other AI agents. So we're making sure that CMO only logs where it's supposed to, right? Cool, so that's for that. And then CMO agent has a couple of things. So for all of the AI models, I'm using Cloud because Cloud is the best AI model for marketing. I'm going to repeat that. Cloud is the best AI model for marketing for a reason, okay? Because okay, CIGPT, it sounds very generic out of the box, uh, where Cloud, you know, the quality of the content is, is much higher comparing with CIGPT. CIGPT, you need to work uh, a lot with it to kind of uh, get the right tone and get the right, you know, I would say for it to sound sort of human-ish, Okay, because it's always the same when you work with ChatGPT, uh, you always have these like over exaggerated statements, uh, boost your content, elevate your content, uh, long dashes, okay, and um, it frequently hallucinates. So it if it receives too much data from other AI agents, so in this case, there's a lot of data, a lot of tokens. So the context window is pretty big. So it might hallucinate because it gets too much data. And when ChatGPT or OpenAI models hallucinate, what happens they try to it, it tries to fill the gaps with like fake data that doesn't exist okay so open ai uh ChatGPT, whatever literally comes up with the data that wasn't there in the first place right so that's why cloud is really good it's really good with the uh, quality content and uh, the hallucination rate for cloud is one of the lowest ones uh in terms of like across all AI yeah, models out there right so then I'm giving a simple memory to the CMO only, just so it kind of can look back to the previous context if I have some follow-up questions. And then I'm adding a essentially thinking note. So thinking note in a thinking note within the NA10 doesn't really have too many things, you know, in 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 uh, in terms of business logic attached to it. But um, it's essentially a tool that allows AI agents and AI models attached to it to think about something, right? So in this case here, it says the user is asking about latest trends in low code, okay? This is a market research request that requires understanding uh, current trends, market dynamics, and da da da, right? So essentially it's a place for AI agent or AI model to kind of uh, think about things. So it's a sandbox for AI model, right? So it can kind of brainstorm, just kind of dump the ideas in there, um, right? So then we are attaching um, Google Spreadsheets through the tools, okay? So I'm not using it as a separate node uh, because now since we have tools, you can attach like whatever the official supported tools like a spreadsheets, uh, Google Drive, uh, YouTube, and a bunch of other ones, official ones. Um, you can attach it directly to your agent and it can work with it directly. So for example, here, if I open um, the spreadsheet options, as you can see, I'm not really defining any expressions, okay? So before that, if you're working with um, nodes for spreadsheets, you need to actually define it through JSON and then um, make sure that the data is co uh, correctly connected from the previous node and that the expected uh, format is essentially kind of defined in here before it goes spreadsheet, that was gonna error out. So now you don't need to do any of that. As you guys can see, every single input is handled by AI. The only thing I did, I synced this spreadsheet with the uh, node right here. So you essentially log in with your Gmail account and it's gonna sync everything that's on your uh, uh, Google Spreadsheets account or whatever, right? And then all these inputs, just select them and then you're gonna choose uh, for AI to handle all this. So AI will know exactly what you're talking about. You just need to mention uh, like here I'm doing, if you guys, um, or if I go here as an example, I have this section that essentially uh, provides the AI agent or AI model with understanding how they should be logging the data on the spreadsheet, right? So time step, current data and, and time, request ID. So we are defining all these in here. So AI agent knows exactly uh, what they should be or should not be logging in here, right? So, but at the end of the day, everything's handled by AI. Okay, I'm not 
putting any custom expressions or anything like that. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Then we're sending all that to a AI research agent. And that's a, essentially, it's our like research expert in a sense, right? Um, so the structure is very similar. Okay, it has a brain. Uh, then, it, well, brain, I'm referring to a brain as a, a model and everything is using cloud here. Uh, same spreadsheets, nothing fancy. Um, I think the only difference here is that in here I'm using Tavli and Tavli it's a web scraper, right? And what I really like about Tavli is that they have a really, really good generous free tier. So if I go here to Tavli AI, this is my account and the free tier gives you a thousand credits on a monthly basis. Okay. And so far I've, I've done a couple of requests I played around with and I've only used 25 credits. That's pretty good. You know, so even if you're doing it for your own business and you're on a budget, Tavli is definitely a good budget friendly option because 1000 credits, you know, it's going to be more enough to uh, create a bunch of research and stuff like that and for absolutely free. And it's super easy. You're just going to essentially generate your API key here, copy it, bring it to your N8N and then create a credential here and copy paste API key. And essentially that's as easy as that. Right. So, um, this is for that. So definitely if you need the web scraper, that's budget friendly, um, go ahead with Tavli. Um, I think even if you go with the paid ones, it's, it's really, really cheap and you're going to have so many um, API credits. It's pretty awesome. So once that is done, um, it will also log its findings. So each agent has its own spreadsheet tool attached. Um, again, you can try and do it in a way that you have these two logging all the data but again I, I feel like data will be polluted and it would become dirty because it's going to fall through all the agents so to kind of maintain the the purity of the data I'm, ma I'm making sure that each agent logs its own findings into its own um spreadsheet right so just kind of make things really granular and making sure that we are getting the data exactly from that AI agent right so once that is done um we are splitting that into two. So we have AI Instagram expert agent and we have AI LinkedIn expert agent, right? And each of these agents it's is tailored to its own platform, right? So uh, Instagram expert will have its own instructions and char character and behavior. Okay. And here we're defining your specialized Instagram marketing expert who creates uh, engaging platform uh, optimized content. And then we're just giving some instructions, hashtag storytelling um, and stuff like that and also how to output that into spreadsheet and essentially all the basics. And then we have the same thing for LinkedIn, right? So LinkedIn is a different platform. So whatever the content style would be working on Instagram, it's not gonna work with LinkedIn because LinkedIn is more, you know, there's a lot of B2B, the tone of voice, uh, the brand perception, everything is completely different. It's not like DTC, it's not like B2C, okay? It's a bit of a different game, right? So whatever the content you are putting out on Instagram, usually won't convert as well on LinkedIn. So that's why we need to make sure that we are tailoring the content and tone and essentially the style based on these platforms. All right, cool. So that's actually kind of the breakdown of how it works behind the scenes. Um, so I made it super easy for you guys. If you want to um, create content for your business or for your service, you don't need to like uh, adjust really anything. Okay, it's super beginner friendly. All you really need to do, you're going to be using this in, uh, chat inbox, um, not inbox, chat, chat input box right here. Okay. So the way it works, all you're going to do, for example, here, um, create uh, content on the latest edit and trends for my socials. Okay. And send that to a agent. So now it's going to do its thing. It's going to go to uh, CMR here. It's going to think, okay, it's going to do its thing. Then it's going to probably send it to its little brain to brainstorm. Yeah, it did. So here it is. The user wants me, uh, the, the user wants content about any and trends for social media. So more of a brain jump, uh, brain dump for a model. Um, that's pretty cool. So now it's going to send everything to a uh, research agent. So looks like it locked its findings already. So let's go check it out. Here it is. Um, this was essentially Okay, this was my prompt right here. Create content uh, for, um, no, that's not the one I think. Yeah, okay, this is the one. Okay, I think it summarized it a little bit. I changed my content, but okay, that's fine. Um, so now it's doing its uh, research. I think, let me just open it up right here. Uh, okay, delegated a research agent for detail. Okay, so it's kind of describing. Okay, there you guys just saw. 
it popped in into the research findings. So this is coming from research agents. So it logged all of its findings in here. And it's pretty cool. It says kind of like key findings, um, gives a breakdown, market opportunities, competitive landscape, and recommend a strategy. And then it's gonna send it off to um, the Instagram agent. And then it's gonna send it off to um, a LinkedIn expert. I believe that's gonna be the flow, right? Cool, so now the LinkedIn expert agent is also good to go. So let's check out the um, Instagram. I think got locked here. So this is the Instagram, okay, Instagram content package for N810. So here we have a, a capture headline and, and then we have the content and essentially pretty much everything you would kind of see on Instagram posts, pretty cool, right? And even the hashtag strategy. So again, you're gonna obviously tailor it, adjust it and clean it up, but again, like 90% of the job is done for you. Just literally copy, paste it and adjust it for your branding. Uh, same thing for LinkedIn. So pretty nice and extensive uh, LinkedIn post. So again, you guys can see the language is different, less emojis because emojis are not really as appropriate. Well, I mean, you can, but again, when you're into B2B, you kind of use less emojis. So that's kind of cool that we are incorporating that into our AI agent for LinkedIn. And essentially everything you want to have for LinkedIn is also integrated in this post and strategy and the structure. Just go ahead, adjust it for your brand and service and you are pretty much good to go. And that's right here. This is your full in-house uh, 360 marketing team. Okay. You can take it uh, much, uh, you, you can take it a notch further and you can do something like once everything is done with the research, you can add some, um, for example, chat GPT or open AI uh, nodes to generate images and some assets, or you can use something like FAL API. Or maybe you can even generate videos using VO3. Again, you can do a lot of things. You can scale this thing to the point that it's a literally a entire marketing AI agency for you working 24 seven. So, uh, but again, the basics are here, the foundations are here. And now you kind of know how to use it, how to adjust it and how, how to, uh, Fix it up in a way that it works for your branding and for your for your I don't know for your for your brand for example right so um, that's that's where it goes and again don't forget you can download this entire JSON template for free so definitely check out the little video in the description box there's going to be a link to download this entire thing for free and once you do just click here on the three dots import it and you're going to be good to go right and if you have any questions or you run into any issues or errors, it can happen. Uh, just let me know down in the comments and I'm going to help you out. So don't worry about it. And if you do enjoy the content and if you want me to keep dropping videos like this, but always writing free JSON templates for 100% free, make sure to like and subscribe, enable the notifications so you know when the next video drops. And as always, I will see you next time.